The COVID pandemic has stretched Africa's resources. The IMF has just come out with its latest report that says Africa needs about $435 billion to close the gap um, from its growth rate and its divergence with the developed world. African finance ministers have been asking for $100 billion every year for the next three years to ensure that they can finance Africa's growth. However, there is a substantial part of Africa's resources that leave the continent. The Economic Commission for Africa, together with the Mbeki report, have assessed that about $50 billion leaves the continent every year by way of illicit financial flows. There are varying methods of illicit financial flows, but as legal authorities and regulation has been put in place to combat illicit financial flows, more and more we see new ways of avoidance emerging. One of those ways is beneficial ownership. Essentially, beneficial ownership is when individuals or business entities create opaque and multiple and complex financial trust across different jurisdictions or multiple jurisdictions to ensure that the movement of resources is untraceable. The Economic Commission for Africa's 2020 Economic Governance Report highlights beneficial ownership laws as being a critical part of African countries' institutional architecture required to effectively address illicit financial flows and boost domestic resource mobilization to finance not only the COVID pandemic, but to finance uh, growth and prosperity on the continent. The report finds out that only 15 of the 54 countries on the continent have beneficial ownership laws, implying that 40 countries will meet challenges in following up on illicit financial flows and crimes within the tax and commercial sector. Moreover, for beneficial ownership registration to be considered effective, there should be no loopholes or exceptions, except for state-owned companies and companies listed in the stock exchange that are generally excluded. So beneficial ownership has become an important component of fighting illicit financial flows today as a way of ensuring that if we cannot make these laws, if we cannot have names on certificates, if we cannot, if we cannot follow individuals that are using state-owned resources or resources illegally mined, particularly from base erosion and price shifting, because we know that it is due to base erosion and price shifting that a lot of the resources leave the continent, we will never be able to trace uh, those resources. Uh, the work that uh, the Open Governance Platform is doing on this issue is critical, not just for Africa, but for Latin America and for the world at large. For with this additional resources, we will not be asking for developed country uh, taxpayer resources, and Africa will be able, hopefully, in the near future, to go from 17% tax to GDP to something like 34% tax to GDP, meet the Sustainable Development Goals and create jobs for its youth. Thank you.